In this video, we're going to do a deep dive into Discord server boosting. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but I wanted to wait just a little bit because Discord has actually been in the process of overhauling and revamping the entire server boosting system. At the time of recording this, it is currently available in 15% of servers on Discord, and eventually over the next couple of weeks, it will be rolling out until it is available in 100%. So firstly, let's discuss what server boosting is and the perks that you get inside your server for server boosting. And then we're gonna talk about the ways that they're revamping and overhauling so server boosting is one of the three main ways that Discord makes money. The first way, and these are not in any specific order, is Discord Nitro, which unlocks a bunch of different perks for your specific account. The second way is Discord server boosting. And the third way is the server shop where you can buy customization items for your profile. Server boosting is a lot like Discord Nitro where you get access to a lot of different perks. But the difference from Nitro is Nitro is when you buy it, it's only specific to your account and only you get those perks. But Discord server boosting, your entire server can get access to all of these extra perks. So on the server, so on the server boosting screen, if we scroll down, we can see all of the main perks that you get. And these are all the traditional perks. And in a little bit, I'm going to talk about the revamps that they're doing. So server boosts are individualized subscriptions. If you subscribe to Nitro, you do get two boosts that come with Nitro for free. So you can instantly boost your server to level one with those two boosts, which would get you access to things like 50 extra emojis, extra sticker slots, extra soundboard slots, instead of uh, people in your server only being able to stream at 720p 30 fps they can now stream at 720p 60 fps and then you also get access to an animated server icon as well as a server invite background jumping up to level two you get access to 150 emoji slots 30 sticker slots your entire server gets access to 1080p 60 fps streaming your entire server it gets access to 50 megabyte upload limits so instead of the traditional 10 megabyte file limits they now get can upload up to 50 megabytes in your server specifically and then you also unlock a static image for a server banner as well as custom role icons and then moving up to level three the biggest perks that you get for this is an animated server banner and then a custom invite link so instead of your server invite link being just a bunch of random letters and numbers you can actually have something like i have which is discord.gg slash gesture by the way if you're ever looking for discord help or advice my server actually has a dedicated discord help channel where you can jump in and ask any questions related to discord so be sure to join if you aren't already in it. So those are all of the main perks. And the cool thing about server boosting is you don't have to be the one to buy all these boosts. The big perk of it is your entire community can boost your server. So it's almost like a, commu a communal effort. If you want to just go ahead and pay for all the boosts yourself, you're more than welcome to, of course. But like I mentioned, everyone that is subscribed to Discord Nitro gets at least two boosts for free. So if some of your members in your server have Discord Nitro, but they don't really own their own server, then they can apply those two boosts to your server and help get you to that limit. Now let's talk about the changes that they are making to the server boosting system. So like I said, this is only available in 15% of servers right now. I actually don't have it in my main server. I do have it in a testing server that I use actually, funny enough. So everything that we just discussed in terms of the, the perks that you get at each of these different levels, that is all staying the same. However, you will notice at the bottom down here and you've probably, if you use Discord a lot, you've probably seen people with these different tags on Discord. If you notice over here, I have a tag next to my name. You've probably noticed that recently and that is part of this new server boosting feature. So there's two additional perks that you can unlock for your server and your server members. And that is a server tag, which is the thing that I just showed you over here on the right. You can have a custom tag next to your name and then also gradient roles. So you can see all of your different roles can have a gradient and a vibrant effect where there's the colors are shifting throughout the role instead of just a basic color you can have it look something cool like that. Now, something you'll probably notice if you paid attention on the last screen is level two and level three actually require less boost to actually achieve. So previously level one required two boosts that is staying the same. Level two would require seven boosts that is being dropped to five boosts. And then level three is being dropped from 14 to seven boosts. So that in itself is pretty cool. You actually, if you want to get access to like a custom server invite link, instead of having to have 14 boosts, you only have to have seven. But the way that they're working this boosting system is gonna be changing a little bit. The best way that I can explain it is boosts are now going to work under an allocation system. One of my admins in my Discord server, shout out FarmerMB if he's watching this video, actually put it very well. You can 
can think of boost almost like tokens now. So if you unlock seven boost, you would unlock level three, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you actually unlock these additional perks down here. When you have those seven boost, you actually have to, you'll see over here, you can see where it says zero total and zero spent. You actually have to allocate those boosts to specific things. So if you have three server boosts, that means you would be at level one, but you also want to get the server tags. You're actually gonna have to choose where you want to apply those three server boosts. Do you want to apply those three server boosts to the server tag? If you do, then that means you only have one boost, so you would no longer actually achieve level one. So you can see where the token term is starting to make sense, right? If you have five server boosts, you could either access all the level two perks, or you could spend three of those boosts on either the server tag and the enhanced role style, and then use the two remaining boosts to unlock level one. So it is really cool in the sense that if you don't really care about the server tags and the enhanced role styles, then getting access to level three, that just got cut down completely in half. And even if you want to access all of these perks, you know, instead of needing 14 boost, to access level three is seven boost, then to access the server tag, Tag is another three so that puts you at 10 to access the enhanced role styles as well that's another three which puts you at 13. so instead of needing a total of 14 boosts to get level three if you want to access level three and both of these additional perks you actually only need 13 boosts now so they cut it down by one now that probably sounds weird but i am 100 percent certain that they are going to eventually come out with other additional perks down here that are going to cost even more boosts because there's no way they just cut it down by one boost and just call it quits they're definitely going to come out with more additional perks down the road that you're going to be able to choose where how you want to spin your server boost on so eventually in the coming months and coming years probably if you want to access everything it's not going to cost just 13 boosts it might cost 16 boost or 19 boost something like that so like i mentioned i unfortunately don't have access to this in my main server so i can't show you the actual full in-depth setup process but i can at least show you where to go to set this up if you do have access to it in your server already so if you do have access to this feature, what you're going to do is come to the server boost tab here and you're gonna enable either the server tag or the enhanced role styles or both of them if you're able to. And then to set them up, you're gonna come into your server settings and you're gonna see up here at the top, you have server tag. If you click on server tag, this is where you can set it up. So you have a bunch of different preset badges and preset colors that you can choose from. And then the tag can be a maximum of four characters that are either alphabetical or numerical. So that's where you go to set up the server tag. Pretty simple, very easy to do. And then the, ro the gradient roles is the same way. You're gonna come over to the roles tab here whenever you're editing a role you should see up here at the top you can choose between solid gradient or holographic that's actually really it that's all it takes to set up it doesn't take a rocket science this is actually really easy now those of you that are members of servers that have access to these perks and you want to actually access the server tag for example the role the role style will automatically apply as long as you have that role but if you want to actually apply the server tag you don't have to boost the server to have a server tag. Like this server tag I have, for example, I'm not boosting this person's server. I'm just in the server and he has access to the perk so I can use it as a member of his server. Where you're going to go, and you can do this if you want to see if you have access to any server tags at the moment, you're gonna come into your user settings at the bottom left and then you're gonna come to uh, profiles. Once on the profiles page, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you should see the server tag option. If you have access to any servers that have a server tag enabled, you can click here and then you can scroll through all of the different options that you can use and you can select any of them that you want to use. And that's really all there is to it. That is a full deep dive into Discord server boosting and then also a deep dive into all of the new perks that are coming like the server tag and like the enhanced role styles with server boosting. Hopefully that clears things up for you guys. I've wanted to do a video on this for a while now. I've had a lot of people ask me about server boosting. And they just don't really understand it, um, but I wanted to wait. I knew that this update was coming out, so I wanted to wait until this was starting to roll out and I at least had a little bit of access to it so I could show you guys an in-depth video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my future content and also dropping a like to help spread this video to others. If you're interested in getting a Discord server set up by me i'll have that link down below in the description alongside links to a couple of my partners one of those being wap who allows you to monetize your discord server and the other being iTranslator, who allows you to translate anything in discord including automatic translations in your entire server definitely check them out there's some great partners i'll have their links down below thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one